Do you like potatoes? Do you like potatoes too? I think you like potatoes. Hi guys, it's Peace and Health. So I just wanted to show you another haul that I got from the farmer's market today. It looks a little different given that I didn't buy hardly any fruit. I still have a ton of persimmons and citrus in my fridge, but the variety right now isn't too great even here in California. So I wanted to show you guys what you can get to stay healthy, vegan, and high carb during the winter. Okay, so starting off, I got Japanese sweet potato as well as some regular orange sweet potato. And there's more back here. I think I got around 30 pounds of potatoes. I have more, but I didn't want to take it all out. Um, this will probably, I think, last me a week with other, obviously, starchy foods and as well as other fruits and vegetables. But I just wanted to show you guys the difference between the two. So the Japanese sweet potatoes are more red, purplish on the outside. Um, and on the inside they are white, like a regular potato. These Japanese sweet potatoes are actually my favorite. I practically lived off them last winter. They are really dense as compared to the regular sweet potatoes. They taste sort of similar to vanilla cake. I know that that probably doesn't sound true um, to some people, but they are really good. If you don't like how watery and carroty regular sweet potatoes taste, I would suggest getting these or the purple sweet potatoes, which are super good as well. And then these other normal orange sweet potatoes are just the ones that you probably find in the supermarket. Um, they're more common here in the U.S. Sometimes it's hard for people to find Japanese sweet potatoes in the farmers markets. Um, and these ones are good. They're a little bit more waterier and taste like a carrot, I feel like. Um, the Japanese sweet potatoes to me taste sort of denser, like cake. They're really good and these ones are super tiny, but I like to snack on them. Um, just roast them in the oven for 400 for around, um, depending on the size, 30 to 30 minutes to an hour. And they're super good as snacks, super good as meals if you obviously eat a ton of them. And yeah, they're really good. Hi. Hello. Hello. Say hi. Next, I got just a few of these clementines, winter citrus. They're pretty good. I'm not a big fan of winter citrus, um, to be honest. But these ones were super juicy, surprisingly. And they were sweet, so they were nice and refreshing. Um, as opposed to these starches, all these starches that I bought. Um, and then next I have two pounds of spinach because like I said, I love snacking on spinach. I put it in stir fries, I bake them like chips, and I just snack on them raw. Super good, super good snack I feel. And then lastly I got six heads of butter lettuce. These are my favorite types of lettuce. I get them for $1 a head, so $6 for all of these, which is pretty good. I'd have to say at the supermarket they're usually $2 to $3 each, so saving a lot of money there. Oh, and I also got, like, what is this, five avocados at the farmer's market. I didn't buy that many because they're super expensive, obviously, from the farmer's market. I could just get the regular Haas ones from the grocery store, which are just as good, um, just not four dollars a pound. So yeah, these two are Haas and these three are Zutano avocados. Super good and creamy. So yeah, this is everything that I got from the farmer's market today. A little different, not as much fruit as usual, but like I said, I love my potatoes during the winter. They're such a good staple for me, I feel. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I eat from the farmer's market or what I got from the farmer's market. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!